Well, he's a music staple in Madison with a career that had had him brushing with fame for decades. And a good chunk of that time, though, was spent under the influence, risking losing everything. But Michael Massey has successfully come out on the other side, and he's written a book about his experience, and Michael joins us now to talk about more. Thank you for Hello. having me. Thank you so much for joining us. So, I admit I have not finished this yet. I'm in the process of reading this, but so far, it is amazing, and you don't hold no. anything back. I wanted to be honest. I wanted to be very, very honest. Uh, I think that that's a key to recovering from substance abuse is honesty as well. And let's talk about you started very young well, in this. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, it's Wisconsin. It's it's blue collar. It was the east side. It was uh, the first time I really drank was on a church trip. So yeah. Well, and then as you got into, you know, your music career, a lot of people, a lot of creative types do have battles with substance use disorder and addiction. You know, uh, what, how did that work for you? You think when you're in the throes of it that substances help your creativity. Mm -hmm. And that was probably one of the biggest deterrents and is for a lot of creatives not to, 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 to quit drinking is, uh, oh, I'm gonna lose my creativity. I'm not gonna be as good. And it's a complete fallacy. The, uh, the, the opposite is true. Creativity explodes in sobriety. Right. Um, you talked, there was like so many parts in here where you talked about um, you're going through this addiction and trying to break it and every, your teeth melting, seeing people that who weren't even there, but you have still hung on to this. You remember this just like it was yesterday. It, Why a, did you choose to hang on to this? It's a deterrent when I think of the, the hallucinations in yeah. withdrawal. Why did I choose to hang on to sobriety? No, why did you choose to hang on to all those the memories? memories? Because they are a deterrent, because I keep them close. Uh, I, I have a family friend right now that has just recently gone through the same thing. And, and it's, it's something that, that helps you. I mean, if you, you think about how low a human being can go in withdrawal from alcohol, and there's no, only, no, only one place to go, and that is up. And uh, so you keep that lowest point memory fresh. Mm. Does that make you appreciate uh, sobriety and, and what you've had after uh, entering this journey of recovery? I'm grateful every day. Mm -hmm. Every single day I'm grateful. Uh, I, I can't say that enough and, and to a high enough level. Um, you were, you've always been very open about your history. Why put it now in black and white? Well, it, I've talked about writing a book for 25 years and then a pandemic happened and allowed me the time to concentrate on it. And uh, for some reason, I have no idea how or why, my memory is freaky good. So I sat in and wrote and wrote and wrote. And it was cathartic to me to write it. And my, my greatest wish and my, my most fervent hope is that it will help someone else to see that it can be done. It, it, it may seem like an insurmountable climb, but it can be done. I had a question. May I borrow that? Please. <laughs> I had a question. There was a passage I liked, and I won't ruin anything, but I wanted to read this. Uh, you said, I feel a sense of a life well lived with hard earned contentment. For no apparent reason, Providence has made me a fortunate one. What did you mean by that? So many people aren't fortunate. The, the success rate of people trying to recover from, from substance abuse is abysmal. And I don't know why I was chosen mm. to, to be successful and to be, to be ongoingly successful. Yeah. Because it is a constant, it's not a battle, thankfully, mm -hmm. but uh, it's an ongoing recovery. I mean, I'm not, I don't use the term ever recovered mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a past tense because that's not the case. Is it hard to be out in a room with alcohol and stuff? Do you ever get that little, ooh, want a little drop. Uh, as I say in the book, um, there is a, a chapter kind of devoted to a defense mechanism that's, that's very fun and very easy to use for somebody that's struggling with that mm -hmm. exact topic. Um, no, uh, thankfully, thankfully it's not. Um, I, when I made the decision to stop, I flipped the switch. Mm -hmm. I was only gonna look forward and not backward. 
and it become it it became I don't want to say easy, but it became I could I, I, I carved a place for myself in that environment. And I have to bring up that your wife Robin Valley Massey was a huge reason why you were here now. Without her I would not be. It's yeah. that simple. Her support and her love and her faith in me. So is, you always need somebody in your corner. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And the drive. Yeah. Well, it's a Thank you. great book, More, mm -hmm. by Michael Massey. Where can people pick it up? Uh, Amazon.com, LittleCreekPress.com online, BarnesandNoble.com. I'm doing a book signing and a reading at Leopold's on Regent Street, mm -hmm. Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Very okay. good. Thank Go you so much. Go out there, keep helping people, yes. doing something good. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate you. Thank you, you so much.